The 8th International Conference on Northeast Asian Security, or Lambatar Dialogue, was organized jointly by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Mongolia and the Institute for Strategic Studies of Mongolia from the 15th to the 16th of June 2023. This year, the conference welcomed speakers and participants from around 30 countries and more than 10 international organizations, and was attended by more than 180 international and national delegates and representatives of government entities, international organizations and academia. Well, such initiatives as Ulaanbaatar Dialogue are good for several reasons. First of all, they um, offer an opportunity to exchange ideas and uh, for a new concept to emerge, and that's one thing. But perhaps even more importantly, um, this, is, this offers a possibility of um, sideline talk. So people from various sides of, of the of the international divisions here can talk uh, on a neutral ground and, uh, um, and exchange views and perhaps mend, fen mend, fen mend fences. Well, our outcomes are again of, of dual nature. The first is uh, what we can learn here um, uh, from others and that's, that's, that's one thing. But the other one is that perhaps it will lead to other initiatives uh, that may have, may have started here during informal talks. There were high-level participants, including the United Nations Under Secretary General and High Representative for Disarmament Affairs, and the Secretary General of the National Security Council of the Republic of Turkey and the Special Representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs of the Republic of Korea, and new participants from Estonia, Finland, Kazakhstan, Norway, Philippines and Vietnam in the conference. So, you know, it's a, it's a very risky environment that we have in Northeast Asia region, uh, where countries of the region are not able to really have dialogue. So we think, as the United Nations, we think this uh, UB dialogue is a very useful platform uh, and Mongolian government is, um, you know, has the credibility, the trust to bring those different countries together. Uh, so it is a, a useful platform, a very, um, you know, uh, effective platform for those countries to come together and discuss issues informally uh, together with experts and, and think tank researcher type of people as well. Uh, so it's a, it's a platform for dialogue. And um, I think everyone will agree that um, in the environment that we have now, dialogue is really important for international peace and security. Well, I think, um, you know, there is um, a beginning of, um, um, you know, understanding that regular dialogue is really important for regional stability and security. Um, ideally, this sort of a, a framework uh, should meet, uh, should become much more institutionalized. So I think as one of the sort of common understanding is to continue uh, dialogues, um, you know, um, so we hope, we all hope that this uh, UB dialogue uh, will continue and, and become even um, uh, sort of a, a more important and regular um, undertakings um, and um, and I, I was very happy to hear that the, the government of Mongolia uh, is really keen to also continue hosting this meeting so that's a, a really important outcome of this meeting.